and in this video I'll be looking at how to simply add a new article to your Joomla 3 website. So I'm logged into the back end of the website here and I'll just go to the add new article. Now there's a number of ways of getting to this. You can click on the add new article link from the left hand side of your control panel or you can click on the menu item at the top where it says content. Go down to the drop down article manager and click on add new article. It goes to the same place. Here you get the default WYSIWYG editor or what you see is what you get editor in your Joomla site. There's a couple of fields that I have to fill in, these mandatory ones here which is the title, the category and the body copy area down here as well. So what I'll do is I've got some copy ready in my notes here. I'll just copy this across, go back to my site, paste looking all right I'll just get rid of these ellipses put a full stop and I'll copy the name of this national park here from this editor copy and put it into the title there we go now sometimes when you're copying from word or some other editor you may be copying over the formatting of the text as well so it's really important to make sure that you've highlighted the text and have cleared the formatting as well now, depending on what editor you're using and how your developer or site builder has set up your site, this toolbar across the top here may look a little bit different, but essentially the buttons will do the same thing. You will have the linking options, you have inserting images, etc, etc. But uh, let's not go into too much of that right now. The next thing I have to choose over here is the category where this article will go into. And in this case, I will choose Parks. Don't forget that one, that's rather important. Okay, so let's hit save and close and see how this works. Great, I'll go to the front end of my website, click on my National Parks menu, and there's Kurungai Chase National Park. Fantastic, so I have my article in there. Let's click on that and have a look at it. Nothing very exciting, so let's have a look at what we can do with this. We'll go back to the... Great. I'll click on Kurungai Chase National Park. And let's pre this up a little bit. First off, I'll get rid of this extra paragraph tag that was there. And I'll go to the Images and Links tab. Now here I can put in some specific images that relate to this particular article. So I can put in an intro image and a full article image. The intro image will appear on the page before this one, on the category page which is this one here. So we should see an image appear on this particular page. And the other one should appear when we go directly into the Kungrai Chase National Park article. So let's go back to the back end of the site and choose an image for this intro image and the full article image. So I'll click select and I already have an image here from Kurungai and it's of a lighthouse. So I'll click on that one. If your image doesn't exist, you can simply upload the image here by clicking on Choose Files and browsing to the image that's on your computer. In this case, let's go back to the uploading here and I'll click Insert in the top corner. Great. Now the other thing to take note here is the alt text. Now it's really important to put the alt text in because this is for search engines and also for web accessibility. People that are using assistive technologies to view a website may require this so they can actually know what they're looking at. So I'll click here and I'll type in Lighthouse. Excellent. Now I'm going to repeat this process for the full article image. Hit select. Actually, no, I'm not going to. Let's cancel that for now and I'll just hit save. And let's see how this looks at the moment. I'll tab back to my home page. And there we go. On the home page of the site, I can see the lovely image there. And if I click on the actual article itself, I don't get an image. Okay, let's add that image into the back end. Let's ch click on select, choose the image, click insert. Again, make sure we put in some alt text for this. Fantastic. Hit save, jump back to the front end of our website, hit refresh, and there's a lovely image of the lighthouse at Kurungai. 
So that's it. It's nice and easy to add a new article to your Joomla website and adding some images to it as well. For more great videos on how to use Joomla, check out joomtraining.com.au where you can find all these fantastic tutorials, videos and much, much more. If you have a specific question, make sure you drop us a line and make sure you leave comments and ratings and leave this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.